Hey everyone, if you have just purchased the iOS Smart Sleeve or you're considering making a purchase, this video is gonna help you get through the starting process. I'm gonna show you how to get started using your iOS Sleeve today. So this is the package that you're going to receive if you purchase the iOS Smart Sleeve. I'm gonna show you everything that comes inside. Open it, you will see this package right here with the iOS Sleeve and you'll see right on the front, it is sterile, if it's opened, it is non-refundable. That's just the sleeve portion of it. Unless, of course, there is a manufacturing flaw, in which case full money will be provided. Inside this, now it's gonna be depending on which version of the sleeve you get. If you get the long version of the sleeve, you're gonna see these electrodes. Uh, these are going, you're gonna be getting the electrodes and you're gonna be getting this wire that's inside, along with the actual sleeve. Then there is obviously the charging cable. This is a custom made cable specifically designed for the IO smart sleeve. And then obviously you're going to be getting the IO device. This is the device that will go inside of the IO smart sleeve. So now that we know, let's move this stuff to the side. I just, I have a demo version available. First thing that you're going to want to do is make sure right when you receive it, charge the device. Okay. You're going to see these three pins on the very back that is going to connect to the charger here so essentially i've just plugged it into my laptop just for this demo you should probably plug it into a wall charger if you want it faster and all you're going to do is place it and you will see the light on this side turn orange right so let's see that again right there no charge as soon as you put it on uh, some people have been having issues with the charger. It's just all about finding the right placement. So these little pins are extremely small just because of the small nature of the device. So for some, uh, it'll take some adjusting. You'll see that it's quite sensitive, but once you have it on, there's a magnet, you should be good to go. Once the device is fully charged, the light on this side is going to turn green and you will see that. So now let's get to know the device a little bit. The light on this side is the power button. If this light is off and there's no lights, that means you need to charge the device. The button on this side, you will see there is two buttons. Uh, the one button on this side of the light is the reset button. If you hold it for a few seconds, it's going to reset. We recommend before using the device, always give it a reset. Even as soon as you take it off its charger, when it's fully charged, give it a quick reset to make sure uh, that it's gonna work properly. Just a tip. And on this side is the Bluetooth Scan Connect button. You might not be able to see, but once you hit it, the device is gonna change colors. Uh, it's not really coming across in the video, but this is red, and as soon as you hit it, it's orange and this is this Bluetooth scan connect button and I'll show you that once we get into the app. The other things to note about this device, <clears throat> there are two electrodes. These two are clips. They will clip on the inside of the sleeve and only one of them is actually an electrode. The other one is just a dummy to hold the device in place inside the sleeve. If you're looking at it this way, this button here on the same side as the light, that is the electrode. If you're using the long version of the sleeve, this is gonna come into play. I'll explain that later. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that this coincides with the trace on the sleeve. I'll show you that later. The other electrode is actually on the back of the device. This is the electrode number two. When you're putting it inside the sleeve, this electrode will be the one that's on your skin, while this electrode is going to be attached to the sleeve. So for the short version, you simply do an HRV test with your thumb or you do an EKG with the thumb. And with the long version, none of that is, you don't need any of that. It's gonna be connected with the trace. We'll show you that later. We have multiple different models of the sleeve. We have the long version, comes in different colors, and we have the short version. So for this video, I'll be using the long version of the sleeve because the short one is kind of self-explanatory. Here, you're going to see three, three clips, okay? The device, actually, before we start that, on the inside of the sleeve, you're going to see 
this trace. That's what we call it. We call this a trace for the ECG. You will see that this connects to this clip here. Okay, very easy to see. Just go on the inside. The reason that this is important, when you're placing it from the inside, this pin here, okay, if you're looking at the device this way, the top right on, you know, if you're facing it, that's the one that needs to connect to the inside, to the trace. Once you clip that, do them one at a time. Sometimes the they're not an exact match, but the material is fairly stretchy. So stretch it to where you need it to fit. And then just like that, place it on the inside. I typically place it once I already have the sleeve on. So before we, before we put the sleeve on, I'll show you how to actually connect this to the IO sleeve app. So what we're going to want to do is open the IO sleeve app. Initially, you're going to want to set up your account. So go ahead and do that. Uh, you would go right here at the bottom which says no account, register, use, fill out the mandatory fields and the ones that you want. You have your username, email, password, make sure you remember that. Uh, once you're done, you will go create an account. Uh, for me, I have an account, let me just log in. So once you've created an account, you're ready for the first step and that's to connect to Bluetooth. At the very top left of the screen, you're going to see a scan connect and you're just gonna hit that. Now, let's go back to the device. Remember the button I was showing you before? Sorry, this one, the Bluetooth Scan Connect. Once I press it, you're gonna see it appear right away as Brighton HR, okay? That's when you go to click Connect, then it's going to come up with a screen like this. Just hit Pair, there is no code. This, this is just an extra piece of protection for you. Once you hit Pair, you're gonna see on the device that the light has turned green and that means you're good to go. One thing to remember when putting on the sleeve, try to do it very gently because of this trace, especially for the longer version. Try not to tug too much, put it on carefully as to not disturb the integrity of the sleeve. And as I showed you, you're gonna put the device inside just like that and it's ready to go. So for the short version of the sleeve, not, you don't have to focus on any of this stuff with the trace. All you would have to do with the short version is place your thumb on the right and you will see the ECG come up on the screen. In terms of the long version of the sleeve, there's an extra step when it comes to attaching the electrode and the wire and I will include a video right now. So first take the protective film off the electrode, place the electrode in this area here, pat it down just like that, then take the cable one side on the sleeve and the other end to the electrode. Tuck it away and you're done. So once you have the device connected to the sleeve, you have the device connected to the app, it is fully functional. Once you go back into the home screen, you're going to see the health mode. That's for the ECG. Let's do a quick test here. Oh, let me, let me just not move. This is the kind of graph you will see. And give it a minute, here we go. Heart rate is showing, heart rate variability is showing. Okay, let's hit stop. Obviously for this, you will hit the HRV test. You'll pick out a event, as we call them. Let's say morning readiness, you would hit start. Uh, let's stop this, go into the quick scan. Just give it a moment and voila, here you go. SpO2, BPM, let's stop that. We got activity mode. If you hit start, you're gonna pick an event and it will start tabulating, and then the sleep mode for, for sleep analysis. And that is pretty much it. Uh, there will be more videos on the app itself. We'll include them in the, in the description and at the end of the video. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully I explained everything that you need to get started or to make your purchase. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Till next time.